Hey guys, today I am going to talk about a Alpha Investments video. We are back on that grind uh, where he reveals that millions, I believe the exact title of the video is Alpha Investment reveals millions in losses and then he is in his uh, warehouse or basement or wherever that place is and he's going over his boxes. He's spending a lot of time, a abnormal amount of time in that location where where all his boxes now i'm assuming that it's a general location uh, and these boxes are being stored in the same place but it does seem like he is spending a compared to what he normally spends just a crazy amount of time down into his basement or warehouse storage just looking at boxes and making videos about boxes and heavy bags now, first of all, to lose millions, you must have millions to lose. Uh, this video is not really applicable to the majority of people on that type of scale. Maybe you bought a case of Y Schwartz because you listen to Rudy Chan or you buy some Meta Zoo or some Flesh and Blood and you're sitting on a smaller amount of these sealed boxes and you are feeling bad about yourself well, Alpha Investment is here to make you feel better. But understand that the majority of us cannot lose millions of dollars in a uninvestable asset. At this moment in time, I would not tell anyone to invest in sealed product. I do not think that the majority, we can go game by game by game, but at this moment in time, the prices are not at bottom. They continue to crater. A lot of you ask, you know, where are these sales in Amazon? And I just say, guys, there's something called a holiday. You know, the people ask, they're so dumb. Like, it, I can't even believe this type of person can exist. It has to be a troll, right? They ask, I can't find a $72 box. And it's like, yes, because it's a holiday sale. It's Christmas sale. Christmas is over. New Year's shit sale. New Year's is over. You just wait for the next holiday, dude. Like, I, I don't, I cannot explain i i mean, I, I don't understand I, I i don't know how you can live in america for this long and not understand that on holidays things go on sale and instead of buying things during non-holiday you should wait for the holidays anyway that's neither here nor there yeah it's pretty savage uh, i am glad one of the biggest criticisms i have on these investment channels and you might ask, how do you know it's an investment channel? It probably says investment in the name. Alpha investment, sports, sports card investor. Like they're not exactly hiding that they're, you know, they view this as an investment, right? Literally their name has investor, investment, something like that. So obviously they are suggesting to you, even subtly, that this is an investment and not a gamble. And I'll talk about why this is more of a gamble a little later. Uh, investments are, in my opinion, again, take it with a grain of salt. I have lost a lot of money in magic, so I'm probably not in the best mood right now. They are risky. Some investments will be have more risk some investments will have less, some investments will have high returns, some investments will have low returns. Ideally, you can find a balance of a risk profile with the return profile that best suits you. Cards, um, you do not want to end up like Alpha Investments. It might seem really cool, oh my gosh, look at all his collections, and but like when you have that much stuff, how much are you enjoying? it you know it's like you have a thousand paintings great why don't you just enjoy five of them like when i go to your art museum i did basically five paintings out of the whole museum that i enjoy and i can spend hours looking at them so this idea you know every collector is a little different but as i'm learning and space is becoming more important as you get older that you don't want to have a basement full of sealed product that you cannot sell, you cannot liquidate. Even your patrons don't want that Weiss crap anymore. It was interesting in the beginning, but right now I can tell you Weiss 
is way down. Like it is like PM Marvel PMG's level down, where it's like 95% collapse and everyone in the community, oh, this is okay. You know, I can give you examples of the, uh, I love Fate Grand, I, as many of you know, I love Fate Grand Order, but they're uh, the Camelot set, no good. <laughs> and, and, and that's Fate Grand Order, for God's sake. Uh, the second, the last uh, Attack on Titan set, no good. Uh, a lot of the other sets, uh, the Dragon Maid sets and so on, like you are looking at a bloodbath in just Weiss. You're looking at a bloodbath in MetaZoo. We've looked at that many times in live stream. And I don't care how many MetaZoo lights tell me that it's a great investment. It's really not. When you're buying boxes at 76 as a store and the box goes straight down to 50, I don't know how anyone can consider that a good investment. And that is the distribution price a store would buy it at. You theoretically would be buying it at 50. Uh, same with flesh and blood and what whatever else uh, that is being pumped at this time in uh, alpha investment land. So you don't want to be that, guys. Like during the good times, it's all fun and jokes and everyone's having a great time, supposedly making money from these boxes that they haven't even sold yet. During the bad times, you see it in alpha investment's face, you see it in his uh, demeanor. You see in that he's like in his like whatever his warehouse, wherever that place is, a warehouse or a basement, he is spending a in, in exorbitant, a, just a exorbitant time there, going over heavy bags and you know and, and making videos titled "Alpha Investment Reveals Millions in Losses." He has millions to lose. The last, the large majority of people live paycheck to paycheck in America. You can't afford to even lose a few thousand dollars. You might go broke. So again, let's learn this lesson. I'm glad that Alpha Investments is transparent. I haven't watched the video. I watched it with you guys on live stream and there hasn't been a live stream in some time. I am assuming he's actually being honest about these bad investments and it's not some ploy to say, oh, I tripled my money. Ha ha, I got you. Sometimes he will make that video, right? About like the, the uh, Magic 30th, ultimate Magic 30th. And really it was just an ultimate master's box that was worthless. I would know I bought ultimate masters from a guy who bought it from him. And I opened some of it. I was like, oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> you open the box and you lose like 90% of your value. And you're like, okay, this is not gonna work. I don't even think there's a card, non box topper over $50 in that set. Maybe he's like, cavern or something i don't know but there was no big hitters at least the box i opened 